So for this kind of star network in particular, the data structure that you need to set up is actually really quite simple. So we, we need to be able to compute the distance between any pair of nodes, called say uh, A, which is labeled here in the graph, and B, which is labeled here in the graph. And they have to have lists of hubs such that the, uh, the hub has to be on a shortest path from A to B. Well, all the paths from A to B, in fact, all the paths between anything in the network have to pass through X. So as long as everybody has their distance to X, which is one if it's an unweighted network, but it, there could be weights on these edges, as long as each node knows its distance to X, we'll be able to intersect the lists for any pair of nodes and know the total distance from node A to node B. Uh, one little bit of trickiness there, though, is that notice that X's list also has to have X on it, but that's okay. It just can have X with a distance of zero, so it can be its own hub, and then we still should be fine. We'll get the distance from A to X is going to be whatever the distance from A to X is plus zero. So uh, one is the answer I was looking for.